Red abalone is a single-sided shell, so they have a, a muscle here, and this uh, muscle attaches them to surfaces and holds them there, and then it, it ripples and allows them to, to move along wherever they, they want. Just recently, uh, my research group noticed there's some other layers in this material that no one's fully characterized before, and it wasn't long before we realized that these layers were due to seasonal effects in the abalone, kind of like um, tree rings in a tree. You know, they, they mark each season and year that the, the tree was alive. Well, these shells, the biomineralized shells, mark and have the same markings inside them that show um, what the abalone was experiencing, whether it was summertime, wintertime, good feeding, poor feeding, uh, all the record is contained here in the shell. Once we've completed this research, what we hope to see is uh, looking at what combination of these structures and architectures grown provide the greatest strength. And by characterizing those layers and their individual properties, we hope we can provide guidance to engineers that can take materials other than calcium carbonate and make structures as tough of this through, say, metals, or other engineered materials so that we can actually use them for engineered applications. And we found on the shells that were really, really tough, they had these growth layers inside from the seasonal patterns of it. And the ones that were breaking very easily did not have those growth lines. The weak ones were coming from aquaculture farms in California who grow these for, uh, for restaurants. And the strong ones were coming from people who collected them off of beaches out of the wild. So the incredible strength of these shells wasn't realized until they were out in their natural habitat experiencing the, the, that environment. So what we've done here in the lab was we're trying to recreate those patterns of season and control how these organisms construct their shells.